Hello there my super fans, welcome back to the channel, today's headline. What would Princess Diana think of Duchess Catherine and Meghan Markle? Sarah Ferguson has opened up about the late Princess Diana, revealing what the royal would have thought of her two daughters-in-law, Duchess Catherine and the Duchess of Sussex. Speaking in a rare interview, the Duchess of York remembered her friend fondly and said how proud she would be of her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry today. If Diana were still sitting with me right now, I know she would say, I am so proud of both my boys and the wonderful wives they have chosen, Sarah told people, because each has got her own voice. It is true that Kate and Meghan are two very different women, but both are deeply dedicated to issues close to Diana's heart, like humanitarian work and children's causes. Not to mention both women have made continued efforts to honor Diana's memory in their families. Both duchesses chose Diana's name as a middle name for their respective daughters, Princess Charlotte and Lilibet. The Duchess of York said Diana would be smitten with her granddaughters as well as Prince George, Prince Louis and Archie. She would be just like me, obsessed with her grandchildren because that's what she loved, the 61 year old told the publication. She added that Diana adored her own sons and Sarah's daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugene. Diana adored my girls. She adored the boys. This would be her haven, her heaven. She and the Princess of Wales grew up together and were fast friends from the teenage years into their royal lives and through painful divorces. Although their friendship didn't come without its challenges, Fergie has nothing but kind words for her late friend. Recalling their robust relationship, Sarah said, Diana taught her so much about life in the public eye, something both women struggled with when they married into the monarchy. Sarah remembered, she was so brave. We used to have the most incredible time together. Tragically, Diana never got to see her sons grow up and become husbands and fathers. She died over 20 years ago in a horror car crash in Paris on August 31st, 1997. Her death sent in shockwaves out around the world. Though her sons have worked hard to honor their mother's memory and legacy, both have opened up in the past about how deeply her death affected them. Every day, we wish that she were still with us, the brother said in a rare joint statement. They reunited in the UK to mark what would have been Diana's 60th birthday, unveiling a statue of her in the gardens of Kensington Palace. Just a few months earlier, Harry had penned in the foreword of a book, When I was a young boy, I lost my mum. At the time, I didn't want to believe it or accept it, and it left a huge hole inside of me. I know how you feel, and I want to assure you that over time, that hole will be filled with so much love and support. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for your support. Don't go anywhere without a like, comment, and subscribe. See you tomorrow, and goodbye for now.